it's really chucking it down. Uh, so in this video, I've basically come out in what most people would call bad weather. Really heavy rain right now. Uh, I'm going to try and get some pictures of hopefully ducks on the water, anything else that I can. Just to show you that there's no such thing as bad weather. Most people would call this bad weather, which in some ways it is, because it's not too pleasant to be out in. But in terms of photography, it's something different. It's going to add a bit of atmosphere to your images if you can do it right. So I've got the Canon 400mm f5.6. I might be using some slow shutter speeds. So I've actually got it on the tripod today. Uh, I've got the ball head. I'm slacking it off the ball head so that I can move the camera around uh, quickly to compose. But it's just enough that it gives a bit of extra stability. I don't actually advise not covering the camera, I forgot the camera cover. So I would advise having some kind of decent camera cover and on the camera as well. This is a 1DX which is pretty watertight, so I'm giving it a bit of a test today. I'm going to vary the shutter speeds, so that's the reason that I've got the tripod mainly. I'm going to try some slower shutter speeds to vary the movement of the rain, vary the effect of that. If I'm hand holding, I'm potentially going to get blurring, I'm potentially going to get blurred images. I had to come in, it was just getting too wet. I really do think rain works fantastically in pictures. Obviously it's a little bit difficult to work in, but the results can be very, very good. If you vary the shutter speed a bit, you can vary the effect. So I've varied my shutter speed today. Uh, some about 500th of a second, some around 100th, and then I've gone down to like maybe 30th, 40th of a second, and all of those are going to give a slightly different look to the image. The longer shutter speed is going to blur the rain a bit more. And if you really want to show the rain, like those streaks coming across it, then the best thing to do is try and find a dark background. Preferably shoot slightly into the light if you can. But the real key is finding a dark background. When you focus on the subject quite close to the camera, it's going to blur the background. That's going to allow the rain to show up. Well, I'm absolutely drenched to the skin, but it was good fun. So hopefully I just showed that you don't need fantastic weather conditions. You know, what most people think of as, as bad weather, there's, there's not really any such thing. Um, as long as you're prepared, don't do what I did. Make sure you've got your camera and lens well covered. Try and look after your kit. Um, but in these conditions, you can get some lovely atmospheric wildlife shots. So if you haven't subscribed, please click on the subscribe button. I'll see you somewhere soon. For a bit, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous.